and she's very talkative. She's a lot of things that I'm not. So that's one thing that kind of drew me towards her. Um, you know, she's like that, very flamboyant. I'm just very quiet and laid back. Um, you know, that's, and that's even more, you know, it's exciting to me just to see her like that. So I try to come in sometimes and try to not be myself, but kind of step out. And that's one thing that, you know, you try to step outside the box and be a little bit more entertaining or more, uh, you know, a different personality, a better personality than what I already was. So as a individual, getting out that quietness and be more talkative, more involved, if I would say, um, as a person. Um, and she was heavy on music like I was too. Uh, she come to find out I'm a drummer, though she didn't, she didn't sing, but you know, she was in the church like I am. And then one thing that I did like, she was in the band as well. And I was also in the band. Um, I was in the drum line in Hampton. She was in the marching band with uh, Johnson C. Smith. So it was some very similarities that that very, uh, that went very well with one another. We were both firstborns. She's a Leo, I'm that Gemini. And you know, it's just that, that craziness about it that I do love. and bring it back. 
I never experienced anything like that before. So someone that's actually a true gentleman and knows how to appreciate a woman is very different and I'm blessed to have that type of person in him. You know, I can talk to him about anything and I'm not judged. And so for him to be able to show me something different made me fall in love so quickly. And our relationship has just been the best thing I've ever experienced. I love the fact that Even though my daughter does have a father, he treats her like his own. And to me, that was important to have someone that can love her just as much as he loves me. And so that is something that definitely drew me. And I knew that this would be my life partner. He never wanted me to take this journey anymore by myself and so when we're dating that's the one thing I told him from the beginning I didn't want him to be with anybody else I didn't want you to entertain anybody else this was it and it was it for me too but he's definitely the one of a kind for me I believe the most when it comes to your niggas of Tasha is how she caught my eye uh, we saw each other at the bus stop, you know, I didn't know her name at first. So from there, I'm like, I got to know her name, I got to know her name. So then I made a few phone calls, I knew what clinic she started working at. And from there, I found out what her name was. And someone was like, well, you know, do you want to put in a word? I'm like, no, it's all right. I'm just trying to dig a little bit, just trying to find out who she is and, you know, a little things about her. And then it came to a certain point where we actually exchanged numbers, started talking a little bit and to get to know each other. You know, I loved her features. I loved how beautiful she was, you know, without the makeup. You know, I, you know, I watched how she took care of herself. She had some pretty feet. You know, she always had her feet, you know, showing on the bus. And I'm like, well, she takes care of her feet pretty well. And then you're saying how she dressed. It was very professional, uh, very classy. So it came to a point where I just, you know, I had to have her, I had to, you know. So we, moves were made from the both of us. We went out, bowling was our first date actually. And you're saying we had a very good time on our first date. You know, we clicked in a lot of ways. Um, and we shared a lot, a lot of laughs. And that's what pretty much, you know, built our relationship from there, that foundation. Um, it was one thing she said to me that was very, I thought it was very sexy. And it was like, you know, when she first started talking, it was like, I don't want you to date nobody else but me. I said, okay. Because, you know, you know, women say certain things, and, you know, it's just that the whole trying to, just trying to say certain things to catch you. But when she said, I want you to date nobody else but me, I said, okay, well, let's see how we go with that, you know. Which I was already just seeing her, but I wasn't going to tell her that. It was just more of, let's go from there. And, you know, we, we went out on dates, we started to learn each other, likes and dislikes. You know, we became very good friends and our conversations started building more and more because I was more of the quiet type. But you know, it was like, well, I'm gonna get you to talk more. Yeah, we'll see what happens. And I grew on her and I'm talking, talking more. So it was just those things that I'm willing to do for her that I wouldn't do for someone else. And I, you know, stepped up on a lot of things where, you know, she wanted me to make some corrections on as a man. I did that. So that was the unique part about her that I loved, that I was willing to go that extra mile and give her flowers and things of that nature and just try to woo her over as much as possible.